Hey everyone, uh, my name is Kelvin and uh, this tutorial is about how you can use the watercolor background creator tool and uh, you can find that uh, in the optional watercolor resources folder. Just double click that and uh, it's in this folder, watercolor background creator tool and uh, it's a Photoshop document so just drag it into Photoshop to open it up. It has this default texture loaded in and to drop in your custom texture and give it this effect uh, just double click that first smart object, just the little page icon there. And uh, it'll open up a new tab here. Uh, we'll hide the default texture there. This is just actually just a cropped image of a sunset. And uh, on Google Images here, I found this watercolor texture that I kind of like, uh, but it's too low resolution. So I'm just going to copy it and then paste it into Photoshop. And uh, I can scale it up to fill the whole artboard. And uh, when I apply this effect, it'll increase the resolution of this image uh, as well as giving it a kind of a paper texture. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'll sort of place this sample on the artboard there and press enter. And now I can close and save this smart object to apply the effect. And the end result looks like this. And uh, I'll save it to my desktop. Uh, and then change over to the uh, watercolor typography studio uh, and uh, give this one a try and see what it looks like. So I'll go to File, Export, and Save for Web. I'll make sure JPEG is selected uh, from the File Type dropdown, uh, and then I'll click Save. So I've opened up the uh, watercolor typography studio again here, and to drop in the custom texture, I'll open up the uh, place texture here smart object so I'll just double click on that little page icon. Uh, it'll open a new tab. I'll hide the default texture and then go to my explorer and uh, find the texture we just made. It's this one right here and I'll drag it in. And uh, once it's lined up, if, as long as it fills the whole artboard, you can just press enter to place it. Uh, and then close and save this smart, smart object to uh, apply this texture to the text. And there we go. That's how you can create your own custom watercolor textures and uh, use them with this add-on. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment or send me an email. Uh, but uh, other than that, guys, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.